Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. By the way, I am Eduardo Golfan and to give you an idea about this tutorial about the day lock up function plus after update function. So I'm gonna show you my sample guys. So I have here a product inquiry form which is the product name and the unit price is being looked up in this table, the product list table. And then I use the product ID to look up. So we will try this one, two, three, four, five. So let's type one, two, three, four, five. And when I hit enter, Okay, jigsaw machine, 100. The price is 100, so this is correct. Again, 15151. When I hit enter, so portable grinder. So what if, guys, you have entered the incorrect product ID or your product ID that you have entered is not found in this product list? Something like this. Enter. So product ID not found. So how to do this? If you are still interested, please watch this video until the end and please do subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. So let's create a new one guys. So go to create me now, form design and here let us add a text box. I will put product ID and I will expand this and copy paste this one I will rename to product name and this one is unit price that's it and also this one is like product ID and this one is prod name or product name. Okay, and unit price. So something like this. Let's try to see. Okay, this is it. But we will make it center first. Okay, now click this and let us start the coding, guys. So go to property sheet. Under the property sheet, click event and then go to after update click these three dots click code builder hit ok so now this is it so me that product name because this one product name we will update that one and sorry they look up so expression so this is the data that we want okay so since this is product name we will look up this one guys product name make sure the spelling is correct and then we need to put a double quote let's put product name and then double quote again to proceed another parameter let's put comma so domain so domain asterisk so this is the name of the source which is the product list so let, let us type this t product list Okay, that's it. Make sure the spelling is correct. And then, comma to proceed. So, criteria. This is the criteria coming from the from the table. So, this one, product ID. Product ID. And space equals double quote. And now, this is another criteria. This criteria is from the form. So, this one. So, product ID. Let's type prod ID or me that prod ID. Okay, that one. Don't forget to put in close parenthesis because we have open parenthesis. So let's try. So save first. Form one, it's okay. Form design. So let's type this one one two three four five and then jigsaw machine. One two three four five. Enter. Jigsaw machine. So it's working, guys. Again, 15151 for portable grinder. So, now let us add the price, the unit price. Copy paste and then me that unit price. Okay. And then we will change this to unit price also. And the rest is okay. So, no need to change. Check the spelling if it is correct. Unit price, so it's correct. 
So let's try. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Jigsaw machine, and then the price is one hundred. It's okay. Another. One, two, three, four, four. One, two, three, four, four. Arc welding, five hundred. So it's okay. So what if we have entered the incorrect uh, product ID or product ID that is not found? Oh, that's missing. So we will put a message, guys. We will add here. <coughs> so let's put F. F is null. Okay. So let us don't worry about that. Let us copy paste this. Paste. And then let us add another in close parenthesis because we have added also one open parenthesis. And then let's put then message box. The message would be product ID not found. Baby critical and then something like this. Sorry. So since F if else okay else or it's correct and then don't forget to put and if to end the function so that's it let's try again guys okay product id not found let's put the correct one one two three four five okay jigsaw machine one two three okay so we will add guys um another trick um like me that product idea equals null me that prod name is also null me that unit price equals also to null and then the cursor will going back to the product id so that the focus will be in the product id so let's type me that prod id that's it focus okay something like this and then i will disable this no and yes so let's try one two three oops product id not found okay it's clear what if it's correct one two three four five okay and then cannot be edit one two three four four or what if this one product ID not found so that's it guys so if this video if you think this video helps you so please click like and if you have some questions uh, you can comment it down below I will try my best to answer that one and if you have not yet subscribed also please subscribe and please click the bell button so that you will be notified uh, for my upcoming videos once again guys thank you and see you to my next video.